Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are all doing well today. For today's video, we're gonna be trying out some new makeup products. I have a new concealer, some new cream blushes, some lip products, a new eyeshadow palette here from Sigma and Diana Saldana, which I'm so excited for. This looks so beautiful. I don't have everything for an entire full face of first impressions. The two products that I don't have, they are actually new, but they're also kind of current favorites. So they're still new products. I've tested them out before, but they're just like things that I still really love. So you'll see. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. As always, grab a snack, get cozy, and let's get into it. So first things first, I did prep my skin earlier with like my usual skincare, and I tried out a new SPF that was actually sent to me that I really like. So I'm going to reapply it. So this is the Live Tinted Hue Guard 3-in-1 Mineral Sunscreen. So this brand, I actually saw it at Ulta, and they have a lot of different products, but this sunscreen, I was so impressed with it. I mean, it feels really nice on the skin, it, like absorbed into my skin also really quickly. It has a little bit of a tint, but when you actually apply it, it's like invisible and it's super hydrating. You can see it just like disappears into the skin and doesn't leave any residue or white cast, which I really like. Really impressed with this so far. Like you see how quickly it just absorbs? I love it. It has like a really light kind of natural finish. It's not super glowy, but it is really hydrating. So this, first impressions, really like it, double thumbs up. I'll keep you guys updated the more that I use it. But like I said, I used it this morning and I just used it now and I really, really like the consistency, the way that it looks, it's bomb. And then I also got these raised copper eye masks from them as well. So I figured I would put them on while I do my eyeshadow. There's caffeine, niacinamide, vitamin C, and E. Okay. Oh, that feels so good. I love eye masks, honestly. Cool. I'll put them on for about like 10 minutes or so. And I'm just prepping with my usual favorite eye primer, the Dominique Cosmetics Everlasting Eye Base. I'm trying not to make any sudden moves with my face because I feel like these are gonna slide off. Okay, keep it together. So for eyeshadow, I'm gonna go in with the Sigma and Diana Saldana eyeshadow palette. Congratulations on this beautiful collab. This is stunning. And the minute that I saw this, I was like, Yes, this is like the perfect palette. So we have some neutrals with pops of color. We have a beautiful black in here, lots of shimmers. I feel like this is gonna be the perfect holiday palette and I really love Sigma's eyeshadow formula. I'm gonna start off with the color right up top here called Goals. It's like a really nice soft brown. So I'm gonna start buffing that color into the crease, kind of on the lid as well. Ooh, love that. Love a good soft brown. Let's see what color I want to do. I definitely want to apply this like blue color all over the lid. It looks so beautiful, but I'm also kind of really into this gold shade. It's like the perfect kind of holiday moment, but I'm like, should I save that for another time? Because I'm getting ahead of myself. It's not even November yet. Then I'm going to go into the color coffee, which is just a nice dark brown. Let's apply that on the outer lid. Ooh, these are super pigmented. Wow. Then again, I'm not really surprised, like I said, because every palette that I've tried from Sigma, I actually really like. I think they have super smooth, very like buttery, soft formulas. Okay, I'm gonna take these off because they are like sliding off my under eyes. They do feel really nice though. They definitely added some hydration, which I really needed. I'm gonna like perfect this a little bit more once I add the shimmer, which I should have did first, but it's fine. I definitely wanna go in with this really pretty like bluish teal color. It's called Aquarius. This is so pretty. Definitely has more of a sheen. It's not glittery. I may add something over top just to make it a little bit more glittery, but it's really pretty. like swatching some of these and they look so pretty i want to add something to the center of this to just kind of create a really pretty gradient and i'm kind of gravitating towards this color right here confidence it's like a green gold let's just go with it and see what happens oh wow that is so pretty oh i love that mixed too do you see like mixing it in with that teal kind of creates its own unique shade that is so gorgeous. Wow. 
That's like a little bit also more of a sparkly color. The Aquarius color, the teal, is a little bit more of just like a sheen. So Confidence has a little bit more of a glittery touch, which is exactly what I wanted. That looks stunning. I didn't even spray my brush, by the way. I'm just using a tiny little fluffy brush, and that is intense. I love this confidence color. It's so pretty. It's like a green gold, but no, it's like gold, but it has like this really pretty kind of greenish undertone to it. And it's very sparkly and just intense. I love it. Then with a little tiny pencil brush, I'm going to go into the black color. This one is called JC. And I'm going to smudge that ever so lightly kind of on the outer lid slash outer like upper lash line a little bit yes i like that it kind of makes it pop even more i feel like then i think i'm gonna take this color grateful i kind of want to add that right over that teal to kind of lighten this up but also add a nice little like glittery effect because that color looks super glittery I feel like the teal is a really good base for a lot of these like if you add them it just kind of morphs into its own unique color and it's so beautiful see that color is really icy grayful so mixing it with the teal it just lightens it up a little bit but you still have that pop of teal under it and it's so pretty and I have some new false lashes today from Juvia's Place to try out. But I also have a new mascara that I've never used before from Essence. So we're going to try this out. This is the I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara from Essence. I saw this go viral on TikTok. So we're going to try it out. The wand is like ginormous. First impressions, this is a really black mascara, which I love. I have these lashes here from Juvia's Place. These are the Nubian Lash in the style Royalty. They're like a natural volume lash and they kind of taper on the ends, which I think is so pretty. So I just put on the lashes, you guys. I don't like these and it was also, by the way, a struggle to get these on. This eye kind of got messed up a little bit because I had to take it off the lash and then put it back on, but I don't like these. I feel like... They kind of close off my eyes and make them look kind of droopy and I'm just, I'm not a fan. So the lashes for me are a no-go. I just applied, cause I had the brown there and I don't know, I wasn't like really obsessed with the way that it looked. I felt like with the black, it just made it pop a little bit more. So I started off with just smudging it out a little bit and then I just ended up taking more of the black and just smudging it up on the outer lid. I know I had a little bit there, but then I just decided to bring it up and I love the way it looks now even more. So now I have a new primer. I I actually don't think this is super brand new, but it's new to me and I'm gonna try it out. So it's the Essence Fix and Last Makeup Gripping Jelly Primer. I really love Essence primers for the most part, so I figured we could try this out because I love a good jelly primer too. The one from e.l.f. is a bomb. So let's see. It feels super hydrating as you can see. Doesn't feel tacky right away. It feels more of like a serum actually when you put it on, but I'm gonna let it sit for about a minute or two so we can see if it gets tacky. One of the newest foundations that I have used that I have been raving about is the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. I love this foundation and I don't really have any new ones. And when I was browsing at Ulta and at Sephora, I didn't really see any super brand new foundations that really intrigued me to be honest. So this is one of the newer ones that I'm still loving. It's so good so long lasting great coverage i also just tested out the new patrick ta foundation so if you guys want to check that out i did like a two-day wear test on that i'm gonna just go in with this because like i said it's not brand new for me but it is still new on the market and it's amazing and it's been one of my go-to's we do have a new concealer though which is good so we'll test that out in a minute but oh i didn't even tell you the shade this one is in 250 matches me i think perfectly gives the most beautiful medium coverage it's so skin like though as you can see um yeah this foundation is my favorite like it's just so good you can see i had that pimple so it's still kind of peeking through a little bit so it's not super full coverage but it definitely tones down some of that redness evens out your skin tone and it's still very breathable very 
like your skin. I'm gonna go in with cream blush first and then concealer because I just did that the yesterday actually. I filmed another video and I actually forgot to apply concealer and I didn't realize until after I applied my other cream products but then when I applied the concealer after it just I felt like helped to blend out my creams so much better and it looks more seamless. So we're gonna do concealer in a minute but I have two new cream blushes. First is the new Fenty Double Cheeked Up Freestyle Cream Blush Duo. This is what it looks like. It is so beautiful. I love Fenty's complexion products and I haven't used their cream blushes actually in a minute so let's go in with both of these i'm just going to mix both of the shades we have malibu's and then we have peony Droppa. peony 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 so i'm going to mix my brush into both of these Ooh, pretty stunning really pretty natural finish too not overly dewy which is nice you could of course always mix both of them or go in with each color individually but i love to mix to create the perfect shade and that's so pretty then on the other side i got this new covergirl clean fresh all over dewy tint for eyes lips and cheeks so i got a bunch of colors by the way this is just one of many this one is in dreamy pink which is what i'm going to use today because i feel like it matches this side really nicely but there's a bunch of other colors as well so we have like this bronzy tone and this one is in toasty nude fuchsia passion beautiful mauvey kiss then we have cozy coral bright coral orange love and then we have rosy brown which looks like a true brown i like to put it on the back of my hand first this is a swatch to show you that looks more orangey than pink but we'll try it out okay so this one is definitely much lighter so i applied it directly from the back of my hand and you can see even as i like blend this out it shears out really naturally but it gives a flush to the cheeks which is really pretty of course when you compare both of these this one is more of like a liquid formula this one is a true cream blush so it is more pigmented the one from fenty but this does give a really pretty flush i'm gonna of course set everything down to see if you can still see that color peeking through over powder but i can see this being a really pretty just a natural blush that you use maybe for like a no makeup makeup look kind of thing because it does give a pretty flush i'm gonna try to build it up a little bit see if like that is possible with this formula it does say on here it's an all-over dewy tint so it doesn't really claim to be an intense cream blush it's a dewy tint so that's exactly i feel like what it is it's also not excessively dewy um it looks pretty natural yeah it's actually really pretty just gives you a natural little flush super easy to blend and it does seem to build up a little bit when you build it up you get a pretty color yeah it just looks like you're blushing just from within but let's go in with a new concealer so i have the too faced born this way ethereal light illuminating smoothing concealer and i have the color butter croissant and pecan 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 let's go in with pecan actually so let's look at this concealer i believe this is a sephora exclusive it is hydrating natural finish long wearing waterproof medium coverage it's like a serum light buildable under eye creamy concealer reviews are kind of hit or miss but let's try it out oh the doe foot is actually kind of like hard when you put it on it's not super flexible i can see that kind of serum -y vibe that they speak of it is hydrating, which I will say it goes on thick, but when you actually blend it out, it feels more hydrating. It blends really easily. Like I said, it goes on a little bit thicker, so it's actually more hydrating than I thought it was going to be, which is nice. Doesn't have a ton of coverage. I would say it's definitely like a more natural medium coverage. Let's try to build this up a little bit. The formula on like the applicator is so weird, the way that it applies. If you would think it's actually going to be more thick, not really blendable, but when you actually start working the product into your skin, you get that hydrating, very creamy formula, but you don't get a ton of coverage though. Even when you build it up, I would say this is solid medium coverage. Okay, so I'm definitely going to wear this and report back to you guys and let you know how it does wear because like it's so weird. I thought it was going to be too thick, but after you apply it and actually start working it into your skin, it's very creamy, super hydrating as you can see. 
which I like personally from my under eyes because I have very dry under eyes. I have a lot of fine lines. So I like a good hydrating formula. The coverage isn't super intense. It's definitely just solid medium coverage, which that is the claim anyway. But hmm, okay, I'm going to see. I'm going to set it, of course, and see how it looks after a couple hours. Again, I don't have a new powder. One of the newest ones that I've tried is the House Labs Bio Blurring Loose Setting Powder, and I've been really, really loving this. This is so lightweight, natural finish, really beautiful. So I'm gonna use that. So you can see the flush on this side with the CoverGirl cheek tint is very light. So you're gonna get something super light. It's not gonna be intense even when you build it up and after you set it, the flush is gonna be super light. You can see the cream blush from Fenty is definitely a little bit more vibrant. Both of them could use a little bit of a boost, but I mean, I guess honestly, if I had to choose, I don't think the CoverGirl one is bad, but it's definitely more natural. So I think, you know, it just depends on the vibe that you're looking for. But I do love that Fenty cream blush. I mean, you can't go wrong with their products. Okay, for the lash line, I'm going to take the blue color and I'm just going to smudge that on the inner part of my lower lashes. And then I'm going to take the black and smudge it on the outer part. And I'm also going to add some black liner top it off with mascara and the eyes will be complete. I may do a little inner corner highlight as well, but let's do the lower lashes first. And this brush is literally from the Dollar Tree, you guys. I got it in like a four pack. And it's like really thin, tiny. You could use it for like lid shades, but I do like it for the lash line as well because you can kind of just drag it right under there. And then I'm going to take a different brush and we're going to smudge the black. I'm going to use a black pencil. This one is the IT Cosmetics Superhero No Tug Gel Liner. Let's try it out. Okay, pretty creamy. It's actually, and it is actually super black. Then for the inner corners, I'm going to go back in with Grayful, spraying the brush just to keep some of that glitter in place. Oh my gosh, this color is everything. I cannot wait to put this on all over my lid. It gets pretty on its own, but it also, like I said earlier, it layers really nicely over other shades as well. Like it could be a good topper. I feel like I wanna emphasize the blush a little bit more. So I'm gonna use a new blush palette that I got from Tarte. I picked it up at Ulta and I feel like we need to just enhance the blush or like the cheeks. So let's do that. This palette right here, it's the Precious Gems Amazonian Clay Cheek Palette from Tarte. This is like a part of like their holiday collection. And yeah, we're gonna go in with this. So let's use, which colors do I wanna use actually? Gemstone and Polished, these two. I'm gonna just put them on both cheeks cause like we already saw both of the cream blushes. You can see, you can see both of them. This one is just super light. Like the CoverGirl one is just gonna give you a super light flush. The one from Fenty is a little bit more vibrant, duh, because it is the formula is different. But we're gonna emphasize these because we need, we need more blush. Oh, that's pretty. It's super pigmented. Mm. Wow, it's actually more vibrant than I thought it was going to be. Let me blend that out. But they look super light in here, but then when you actually put them on they show up and they're pretty pigmented wow and i'm gonna take the park ave princess bronzer just bronze my forehead a little bit i like this palette a lot it was like 39 dollars, which i don't think is bad because considering you get good shades in here a nice mirror so i got these new lip liners from catrice these are the plumping lip liners from catrice they're like four dollars they come in a bunch of really pretty shades by the way there's like pinky nudes reds but i'm gonna use the color starring roll 040 so i got another new lip product here from urban decay that we're gonna try out but i want to lend my lips first hmm. do you see that that's so creamy Oh, they're minty. Oh my goodness, Catrice. Wow, that is so creamy and pigmented. I love that mintiness. Mm, wow, that's so pretty. I love this formula. Amazing. Okay, now these are the new Urban Decay liquid lip colors you basically shake them and then apply them and they're supposed to be glossy and pigmented and last like all day so i got the color text them let's try it out shake for a few seconds i think it's like five seconds or so <gasps> 
pretty. Probably not my first choice with this eye makeup, but whatever. They're a little bit glossy, not super glossy, but that's pretty. It's like a lip lacquer kind of product. It's time to chat about some of these products and I can give you guys some quick little speed reviews based on my first impressions today, but I will keep you updated on how these do wear throughout the day. Also, can we talk about the fact that my eyeshadow matches the leaves outside, like the window? I'm obsessed. Okay, speaking of that, this eyeshadow palette is stunning. I think that they did a beautiful job with this. All of the colors just blend really beautifully together and you can create a lot of different looks with it. I'm definitely getting like fall vibes, holiday vibes, but also kind of bridal vibes as well. I see a lot of good colors in here that could work for wedding makeup as well. So love this palette. We'll definitely be using this again. Don't like the lashes. I personally just don't like the style on me. They were honestly such a struggle to apply as well and I already feel like they're lifting and they're just not my personal favorite style on my eyes. As far as the complexion, I love this Live Tinted Hugard 3-in-1 Mineral Sunscreen. This was so nice and I love the way my foundation and everything applied over top of it. I didn't have any issues with it pilling or anything, so double thumbs up. I will definitely keep using this. The under eye masks did feel nice, but they do slide off after like five minutes, so you really can't move really when you have them on, so just something to keep in mind. They weren't bad, but probably not my favorite. I really loved the Essence Primer. I thought this was really nice. Super hydrating. I like how it was a little bit tacky. Also, my foundation went on really nicely over top of it. This foundation already is very long-lasting, but I will keep you updated on this because I liked the formula of it a lot. This mascara also from Essence, so impressed with it. I love how black it is. I really liked the Fenty Cream Blush. This is so beautiful. So if you're looking for something from Fenty and you want to splurge, I think this is a really pretty everyday blush. I love the formula. It was super easy to blend and I love that you can still see it even after setting with powder. And then the CoverGirl Dewy Tints. These are super natural. So I feel like for me, I would probably like these more for like a more natural everyday makeup kind of product. But whenever I want to do glam, I don't think these are probably ideal but if you're into just a natural flush but you don't like a lot of cream blush I think you would like these but I'm gonna keep playing with them I like the colors that they do have so I'll definitely keep dabbling into them I don't know how I feel about this Too Faced concealer I feel like it looks nice but like it's also not anything life-changing I do like how hydrating the formula was and it is very like illuminating I feel like on the under eyes the coverage is very natural medium so if you're looking for something minimal this is it it's not super full coverage but I'll keep you guys updated on how it wears I'm kind of like I think I like it. I love this lip color. This is really pretty, like the pink, but I don't know if it's fully transfer proof. Let's see. There's like a little bit of residue from like the inside. I'm about to eat dinner, so I'll let you guys know if this will last through eating and talking and everything. These Catrice Plumping Lip Liners are everything, like so creamy and pigmented. I'm obsessed with this formula. Like the way it just glides on your lips, it's fabulous. And then I also really did like the Tarte palette. I thought the blushes that I used were super pigmented. They do look very light in the pan, but when you actually put them on, they're intense. So I'm really happy with this purchase. I think this is a good splurge item. So I really liked the majority of everything that I used. I think the thing that I really didn't like at all are probably the lashes, but everything else I was able to make work. Like I said, I'll keep you guys updated on the concealer and the lip product, but I think this was a good first impressions. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these. What are your thoughts? Thank you so much for hanging out with me and for watching and supporting. I really appreciate you guys, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!